Hello, my name is Amanda and today I will be teaching you how to autoclave. Some background information about autoclaving is basically many medical assistants do this before a surgery to maintain the sterile field and make sure that the tools the surgeon will be using are sterilized and clean. This is a simple procedure and I will be teaching it to you in the next video. Okay, so for starters, you're going to want your two sheets um, aligned and you're going to kind of have one of the corners facing you. You're going to get the tool that you want to be sterilized. I'm going to use this from a kit that I have. It's a practice kit. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then we're going to put the indicator strip on top of it. We're going to grab the first paper, the bottom half, and we're basically going to fold it up to the top like this, like so. It's square, so it should kind of be perfect. Um, then we're going to grab one side of the first paper and kind of tighten the object that's inside, make sure that the corners are touching and do a little fold like that, like a triangle. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, try to make sure that the fold that you do on the bottom, the fold is about a 90 degree angle. Then we're going to do what my teacher calls the doggy earrings, which is basically like a little door. We fold that corner of the triangle in out. This will be important for when you open the paper after the object is sterilized. So that's how it looks like. Then we're going to grab the top paper, because we have two, and we're going to fold it down again, just like the other ones, and do another doggy door, a doggy earring, my bad. And then we're going to grab the bottom, kind of wrap it, and make it look like an envelope, like this. Now we're going to repeat the same process. So we're going to grab the paper and we're going to put this one like this in the center facing us. We're going to grab the bottom towards the corner like so. We're going to grab one side, the corner, fold it in the center. My paper isn't perfectly like a square, but it's similar, so it should be a little bit organized. And if you're practicing with paper, like a normal printer paper, try to make sure that you make it a square before. So we're basically repeating the same pro um, process. I did my little doggy earrings. Now I'm going to do it on the top. We're going to do the little doggy door. And now we're going to fold again and make it look like an envelope. Like this. So that is basically how you autoclave paper. And after when the object is sterilized, which should be the next day, you should wrap it up easily and make sure that the object doesn't touch anything that's not sterile. So I really hope this helps. This should be your end results. It's basically the same process twice. And this is how you're going to help your surgeon have his tools perfectly clean. Hope you enjoyed the video.